Testing, testing. This is Nigerian Hub. My people, greetings. Sorry that um, this uh, um, channel is not uh, it's not being used always in terms of uh, broadcasting. Actually, <laughs> um, this Nigerian Hub. I'm still working on the website. You know, trying to put a very powerful social media so that people will be following the YouTube channel and also use the the um, website to communicate and uh, do their social blogging activities all together uh, because uh, that side is not yet ready. That's why I'm still. Uh, using other platforms but uh, normally i normally use miro african television to make such a video but the issue there now is that um, i'm having some issues over there because um, youtube um, keeps on censoring my programs and everything i don't know why <laughs> Uh, they keep on doing those that is something blocking somebody for three good months i can't see the reason why um, somebody will be blocked for three good months and you allow that program to be successful altogether so welcome again to nigerian hub this is the best place to meet ourselves in terms of nigerian affairs and matters arising from nigeria many may be seeing the picture of uh, muhammad buhari and um, um, Kenneth Okonkwo, uh, aka Andy Okeke, um, the Hollywood, uh, Nollywood um, actor in Nigeria. Actually, there is something that popped up yesterday. You know, uh, this thing has been disturbing many people in terms of um, political affairs in Nigeria. As you can see, um, um, Dr. Kenneth Okonkwo is um contesting for governorship in i think in enugu state i think i believe enugu state um but uh before i will proceed let me just uh, play some audio <laughs> I am using Ucho Buago's audio because Ucho Buago indirectly tell our people the truth and um, try to wake in our people up for them to um, stand up on their feet and uh, claim things that belongs to them, you know, um, in, in most of the things that normally go. So let me go ahead and uh, um, um, I'm a lover and um, a fan to our brother Uchi Buago, you know, his show is one of the best in uh, in Nigeria that try to wake up our people and uh, encourage the youth to get involved and participate in what is in all the affairs. So I would like to use this opportunity also to talk to Ugumba Television. I am not uh, pirating um, this uh, video, rather I'm using it to promote people, promote uh, Uchubuago, to ask people to visit, search for Uchubuago CD, buy it online, and listen, listen it with knowledge. This man is full of uh, um, um, knowledge and uh, he's giving it out through his show. And I believe that people will also... Um, um, follow more and listen to what you have to say but before i will proceed let me play just a little um, um audio about what um andy okeke aka aka andy okeke um what he told the nigerians listen listen attentively I am following President Muhammad Buhari and I make no apologies for that. I am an ambassador of good governance. It's not because of the person of President Muhammad Buhari, it is because he's committed to good governance. 
And as the ambassador of good governance, take it home. You can't get a better person than President Muhammad Buhari. Did you hear that word? He said, take it home. You can never get a better president than General Muhammad Buhari. We all are Nigerians. This Nigerian hub, I'm not taking any side, you know, um, in terms of uh, the affairs going on in Nigeria. But every normal citizen in Nigeria, every human being in Nigeria are facing heavy um, um, starvation. There is no work. There is no money. There is nothing, no food, no even political appointees that is balanced. There is no rule of law. There is only murderers, killers, criminals, looting. That is the only thing you can hear about Nigeria today. During the time of um, um, Namde Kano, Muhammad Buhari went and slaughtered people. In Umuaya, Aba, in Abia State, let me use Abia State in general. In Anambra State, Muhammad Buhari went and slaughtered people in Anambra State, went and slaughtered people in Enugu State. And uh, in northern part of Nigeria today, his men are moving around all corner of northern Nigeria, slaughtering, slaughtering the entire people the government when you you know when we say the government of nigeria the government is the people the government is the ordinary nigerians going around doing their normal daily activities farmers workers business people students non-working class people working class people all those people uh, if you put them together, they are the government. But the people they voted in to handle the affairs, to discuss on their, their, on their behalf in international affairs, in, in African affairs, and other world affairs, are now colonizing their people, throwing the wrath of the Almighty. Like they are, they are mini God. They are playing like mini God. Punishing whoever that failed to follow their way and to obey their rules. And a full citizen of Eastern region, believing on whatever, standing firm as an Igbo man to promote Muhammad Buhari, to use his tongue that God gave to him. The mouth he used to eat yam and cocoa yam and even test palm oil to alter out this word that Bohama the Buhari government stand for good governance. Let's repeat that thing again. Maybe you didn't hear him very well. Listen. I am following President Muhammad Buhari and I make no apologies for that. I am an ambassador of good governance. It's not because of the person of President Muhammad Buhari, it is because he's committed to good governance. It is because Muhammad Buhari is committed to good governance in Nigeria. Even though a blind person cannot see, but he can hear and taste salt and pepper inside food. Even though somebody who is deaf and dumb can smell the government of Buhari. Men looking at this man called Kenneth Okonkwo standing before the people to promote the murderer, the, the, one of the, the, the uh, how, will I, how will I present it? It's, it's, it's like genocide, genocidal government to promote him before the people. If you, are, if you are able to watch the video, you will see how people are just watching their mobile phone, they are not even listening to him. Because he's talking rubbish. That is to tell you that this man doesn't even qualify 
even though his kindred should not even give him a word leader. Not talk less of the community leader. Word, his own word. He cannot, he should not even be allowed to test word leader in that their kindred. For him to utter such a word, the whole Nigeria is bleeding. Even the Christian, Christiana Amankwa of CNN, yesterday, I quote, one minute. If you can recall, it is Christiana, uh, Christiana Amankwa, that's her name is, um, let me, let me not make a mistake, Christiana Amampo of CNN, the international correspondent, um, 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 uh, chief correspondent of international um, CNN news or whatever they call it, uh, CNN chief international correspondent, Christian Amanko. Christian Amanko was the person that interfered into Nigerian politics for the first time under press. American government do interfere in Nigerian politics every blessed day. But now they have given their news outlet the power and the authority to interfere in Nigerian's affairs. Christian Amanko standard firm campaigned for Muhammad Buhari, telling Nigerians how corrupt and bad good luck Jonathan government is. Telling them that the, the, the Messiah they will see on this planet in Nigeria, the growth, the sources, and we know that nothing good comes from the United States. Wherever U.S. and this canker worms touches their legs, that place turns to chaos. From from Syria to South uh, to to um, 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 Afghanistan to, to to Libya to Iraq to Yemen everywhere they try to interfere. Even the European Union they are trying to interfere in the affairs, and now everything is falling apart. The Christian Amanko that campaigned hardly for good luck, for Muhammad Buhari today, I quote says. CNN chief international correspondent Christian Amankwa has opined that President Muhammadu Buhari may be behind the Fulani Hesman uh, massacre currently ravaging the country. I quote, the British Iranian TV host said, by all definition and description, the Nigerian so-called Hesman are terrorists. And if President, Muhammad, President Buhari doesn't believe so, then it will be difficult for anyone to rely, uh, reasonably observe, does observe him, Buhari, from complicit. She said, I covered wars, I quote, I covered wars and crises as a journalist. I think I know and how so I know, and the world also knows how terrorists operate. Christian Amanko of CNN, the news correspondent from United States, noticed and made it clear, distanced herself from the person she promoted into power with Clinton and Obama after pushing Jonathan out. It's now coming back to tell you that Buhari is behind the whole Hesman massacre in Nigeria. And Nigerian citizen, an Igbo man that knows that Buhari with the Igbo people didn't get one position under this regime. We didn't get, we doesn't get respect, we, did, we doesn't get anything. We, they don't, Nigerian, this regime doesn't even value the eastern part of the country. And uh, this brother came out to tell us this. Not because of the person of President Muhammad Buhari, it is because he's committed to good governance. Because Muhammad Buhari is committed to good governance. Chai! Who did this thing to our people? What, which brain, after his doctor, he's put himself as a doctor, after all these years in school, speaking perfect english with large certificate biggest knowledge playing in big movies have big fans and you stand before them to tell them that the person using tractor bomb helicopter and everything to destroy them 
is promoting good governance. Let's keep on he listening to him. And as the ambassador of good governance, take it home. You can't get a better person than President Muhammad Buhari. He's now putting himself as the ambassador of Muhammad Buhari in Eastern Region. If na Yoruba they say omolosh, this one is criminal before our eyes. He's a criminal. This guy need to face judgment in in the hand of their people. They should take him to psychiatric to to put cable inside his brain, not even to test from outside. Open his body and chuck cable inside and test whether the thinking faculty, the metula oblagata, whether that thing is functioning and moving the, to the right direction. Because of power, because of position, because of position, you are boldly selling out and whitewashing the bloods of Nigerians floating on the street under this government. May those blood judge you. Keneto Kongwa, as the ambassador of good governance. We've had the history of power grabbers in Nigeria, aggressive power grabbers. If you don't give them power, they will leave you. They left PDP to APC because they wanted to grab power. If you don't give them, they will grab it. They are very few. They are very vocal. They are very cohesive. If you're not careful, they will come and take their own and take your own. This man think that the people are stupid. This man think that the people are foolish. This man think that he's talking to morals that are walking on the street. Telling them kankabu story. Talking to them as if they are visitors in their own country. Addressing them as if the people we are asleep when Buhari government is going on. They just wake up and he's there to explain to them how the government, as ambassador, how the government is being run. Are they not there with him? Are they not, are they not the, the, the witness of this bad, corrupt, blood-sucking government? That Andy Okeke is the ambassador. We are saying no to that. If you want to come to power in Nigeria, come to power because you are giving us good governance. Now, I think that the people should boycott everything, even though any film Kenneth Okonkwo get himself, kept himself involved. Either he's the, if you know that he's the promoter, don't buy that film. If you know that he participated on that film, don't watch it. This man stand nothing he has no long he has no value for our people kenneth okonko have sell all his half all all his reputation all he has achieved in that country today is finished it's history because bible made us understand that many shall do well and reap their glory in heaven but he have consumed all his glory on this planet. It's not because you want to grab power. If the South East shall support any other person for the presidency, they are going to wander for the next eight years in the wilderness. It is agreed that it is their turn after President Muhammad Buhari. So you know our slogan there? Our slogan is Ndibo for President Buhari 2019, then President Buhari for Ndibo 2023. God, God punish your tongue. Look, it's not Igbos are not even looking for presidency in Nigeria because presidency is not our problem. The Igbo people, I'm not biased on this video and I'm not uh, uh, taking side in terms of um, um, this um, program. Rather, I have to tell my people the truth. Igbos are seeking equal right, respect, rule of law, value, and most importantly, include them into the system. Since after the war, they have been excluded. It's not the, pr the problem of our people is not presidency. The problem of our people is 
to be involved, to be part of the system, you claim that they should not leave. You block them not to leave and you block them to get involved. They are, not, they are like aliens stranded in that concussion umbrella called Nigeria. Standing firm telling Igbo's 2023 is their turn. Who and who agreed on 2023? Are you the one that is going to be our president? Kenneth Okonkwo. You won't. God will never give you such. He will not even allow you to come even closer. Because you are standing before your people and you are lying to your people. If you come into Nigeria today, the highest travelers in Nigeria are the Easterners. Do we have international airport? I don't think so. We have interregion airport. We don't have international airport. We are the largest importers in Nigeria. Do we have international seaport in eastern region? No. What do we have? S the same intercontinental within Nigeria. We are the largest business in Nigeria and uh, business owners in Nigeria. Did Nigeria give us the room to establish our those business within our region? No. They squeeze all those things out to one part of Nigeria. Eastern region are producing one of the best and the largest uh, university graduates. Do we have any job for them in any part of the Eastern region? No. They were squeezed out. Either you travel out of Nigeria by force or you join fraud stars Becky Yahoo Yahoo, or you move down to Kaduna, or you move down to Lagos to find a living. Are we still part of that nation? Kenneth Okonkwo, do you think that is presidency that will solve all these matters? No, even no president can even solve the matter. All the all this blockade they are given the eastern region under eight years. We have natural seaport from Calabar even to Anambra State. All those places are being blocked. And the OKK, can you please use any platform to address the issues holding our people? The ambassador of good governance, have you traveled out of Nigeria? Look at look how big Nigeria is. As big as Nigeria, how many population do we have? We are using one seaport. One person is feeding the entire nation. No balanced international airport in the whole Nigeria to promote that good governance and development. No standard, even though the northern part are now building dry port, before you know it, that dry port will become international dry port, that the goods will land in Lagos and be shipped to that place and any clearance got to be happening in that area. We have One, we have Calabar, we have all part of eastern region full of natural deep waters. Even though we don't need deep waters again, because technology has made everything to change. Ship may be in the high sea, and another constructed ship that works like seaport will offload those containers to little, little ships that will now transport it to every region. I said every region that has water or river in their area. And the OKK, Kenneth Okonkwo, good governance, ambassador, look at your area. And look at that Lagos where you, are, you have been living for a very long time. You are inside Nigeria, but you do visit your village as if you are living outside Nigeria. Why is that that way? You will go to your village, it's dry, everywhere is just dried up. Why no development is coming that place? Okay, you will wait till 2023 before development will start coming to ease. With the condition of Nigeria today, if Easterners wake up today, tell you, say that they want to take Nigerian presidency, and I think if it's where rule of law works, every part of Nigeria will lay low and allow one Easterner to rule the nation. Should they still give us that permit language? 
should we still be receiving permit language kene tokonkwa giving you permit language when you should rule when you should come out when you should get participate when you should get involved when we should participate Whoa. oh my god it's not uh, normal at all let's keep on listening to what you're saying after the war in 1970, it took the most nine years to become the vice president. Since 1999, with PDP in power, 16 years after the coming of the democracy, no Igbo man was president, no Igbo man was vice president, not even our infrastructure was built. If you're from the southeast, Will I not check your mental ability if you do not want to change course? Um, good that he mentioned this place now. Checking the ability of the people of Eastern Region. Don't you think that the ambassador of good governance should start now showing to be that he's a good ambassador in the sense that he should start to promote the alleviation of the blockade, to withdraw all the whole military and military equipment being mounted on all the whole eastern region states, to start investing in Nigeria. Look, do you know that Nigeria doesn't even put one copper since after the war. Nigeria have never invested, even though on federal roads, they never invested one shishi. They never invested shishi in that area called the eastern part of the nation. Nigeria have never ever put in five kobo, five naira, that's any amount in that part of the nation. They are even afraid to invest in eastern region. They give us blockade. They block everything going on in eastern part of Nigeria. And Kenneth Okonkwo is now testing the ability of our people that they have been there for years. No development, no infrastructure, nothing is moving on that we should change to APC now. So that by 2023, development of our infrastructures, Nigeria will start even, oh my God. Even though uh, it come to my notice that Ohane Zendi Igbo too are now promoting that the Igbo people should be contributing 100, 100 Naira. Did you get me right? Igbo people should be control, contributing 100, 100 Naira. So that as federal government of Nigeria, one Nigeria, the federal government of one Nigeria, the good governance, as um, Kenneth Okonkwo put it, that Buhari government is is representing good governance and he is the ambassador. Is building, passing a project of building railways that will connect the entire state of Nigeria. They use the word Nigeria. What did they do? They connected from northern part of Nigeria to all the part of Yoruba land. And they now pass, bypass from backyard of the eastern region, move and connect to Port Harcourt. Those places are the Nigeria, if you don't know the map and the areas of Nigeria. Now, Ohane Zendi Igbo is now advising the Igbo people to contribute 100, 100 Naira so that they will be able to build their own railways and reconnect it to the federal government project. Are we for real? And okay, okay, can't you mention this position? Can't you say something about this? Is this thing now normal that the federal government that you are representing, you are the ambassadors, are developing the... Do you know what is economic um, 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 development? It's connecting cities to cities so that the northerners will be able to sell their goods in real time, in Lagos State, in any part of Yoruba land, under on one day, and Yorubas can say they are only not, and also the same thing, all the places that the railway connected, but they still frozen your area. They frozen your area, and you are now 
assessing the ability of the thinking faculty of the Eastern people. It shall never be well with you, Kenneth Okonkwo. You know, because you are insulting our people before our eyes. You are not only talking, you are talking to the entire Eastern region. You are a prodigal son. Until you repent and come back, then we will wash your head and accept you back. I am changing course. And I want you to understand that President Muhammad Buhari has passionate love for the Hebrews. Hey, Chineke Fulani Hojo. It shall never be well with this man. This man called Andy Okeke. I don't know where this guy came from. Why? 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 I don't want to use the wrong word. You know? Why should this guy who oh my god how come that Andy Okeke will will tell you that Muhammad Obuhari have special love did you hear that special love for Igbo people unbelievable unbelievable standing before the people the the people telling them that Muhammad Buhari loved the Easterners do you agree with him I don't agree with him. I don't believe on all this rubbish he's vomiting. Claiming to be the ambassador of the people of Eastern region. Nay, the ambassador of uh, Buhari or whatever he may call himself. You know. Promoting Buhari, telling us that Buhari loves our people. Hey, wonder shall never end. Wonders shall never end. You know. Let's keep on listening to him. When he came the first time to contest for the presidency, he was an evil man. He chose to be his vice president. His name is Choba Okadinibo. <laughs> hey, the man that took power and uh, used his um, 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 uh, notice book. To cancel the eastern part of the nation that they did not vote for him. In a normal way of doing things, people may love you, people may agree with you, people may disagree with you whenever election comes. Because it's as as Andy Okeke or Kenneth Okonkwo, you are choosing to support Buhari. It's your personal opinion. You you may do what you want, but you should not drag us into your affairs. People may choose Buhari, people may choose Jonathan. Buhari let her win. You then forget about the ones that didn't vote for you and move ahead, carry the government along, carry everybody along, not dropping some people, dropping the other people, um, blaming who and who didn't vote for you. It's, it's backwardness. Igbo's Eastern region didn't get anything on this government. And this is our brother, stand firm. To tell our people that Muhammad Buhari loved the Igbo people only because he needed position in APC. Wonder shall never end. When he came back the second time, it was an Igbo man he chose to be his vice president. His name is the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Umezu Oke. Okay. I talk with facts and figures. Is that any fact? Look at Eastern Region, man. This guy is developing railway. Even though the president built the railway to his own village, that even nothing is, is up to five, six village, three huts at that place, but they build railways to transport what? Nothing. And he wants to build another railway connecting Northern part with Lagos and bypassing the entire Eastern region, connecting it with um, Port Harcourt. And this guy is here telling me that Buhari loved the Eastern people shall never be well with you so when you say that he doesn't like the Igos, which history book are you reading from chai chai we are lost we are lost Ndibo. 
Who did this thing to you people? Eh? Which day are we going to see daylight to teach, to transfer good knowledge, to to promote our own areas? All of us, most of you guys are living in Lagos, Northern part. Go and look at our people living in the eastern part of the nation. Dried up. Everywhere is dry. Nothing. Federal road. Nobody they touch them since after the war. State road. Dabaro. Most of the governors in eastern region are building their states. But like Imo State, they are not even touching their own. No development. No infrastructure. Nothing. Even though schools serve, they have deleted Igbo language from Nigerian history. Igbo language is no longer in existence in Nigerian history. Everybody is speaking Beke. But you will go to Northern Part, go enter any government office. They will greet you, Sanu Dezua. They will greet you with their mother tongue. You will go to Yoruba land. They will see a car if you enter the office. But you go to Eastern Part, go to anything the Eastern people are doing. They will try to speak more than Queen Elizabeth. And at the end of the day, <laughs> nothing. Nothing. And the OKK cannot stand firm to, with his position in Nigerian films, he can stand firm and call upon the whole use of Nigeria for them to press the federal government to start developing the entire nation. But he will not do it, rather he will be this. I am following President Muhammad Buhari and I make no apologies for that. He make no apologies for that. He's following Muhammad Buhari. That is what we will get out of him. Okay. My people, that's all I have for you. And we'll see us some other time. Maybe if um, YouTube decide to unlock my my um, um, main um, channel, that is Miro African Television, then I will also be broadcasting there. God bless you now. I remain blessed. Bye-bye for now. I am an ambassador of good governance. It's not because of the person of President Muhammad Buhari, it is because he's committed to good governance. And as the ambassador of good governance, take it home. You can't get a better person than President Muhammad Buhari. We've had the history of power grabbers in Nigeria, aggressive power grabbers. If you don't give them power, they will leave you. They left PDP to APC because they wanted to grab power. If you don't give them, they will grab it. They are very few. They are very vocal. They are very cohesive. If you're not careful, they will come and take their own and take your own. We are saying no to that. If you want to come to power in Nigeria, come to power because you are giving us good governance, not because you want to grab power. If the Southeast shall support any other person for the presidency, they are going to wander for the next eight years in the wilderness. It we is agreed that it is their turn after President Muhammad Buhari. So you know our slogan.